As the fight for one of the most sought after trophies in sports begins in France, here in Buffalo. These young ladies yearn to one day be in the same soccer cleats as those women on the U.S. national soccer team. It's a really big deal for them, especially the younger players, to see more of these famous athletes out there getting a chance to show what they've got on the field. But as teams in the Women's World Cup fight for glory, another battle ensues. Who's got to be home? Who's got to make a living? There's a huge pay gap between men and women in the U.S. Soccer Federation. In the National Women's Soccer League, the average player earns just over $37,000 a year. Men in Major League Soccer earn $100,000. Allison Maynard, head coach for the Delaware Soccer Club, says something needs to be done to change that. Those females honestly are working just as hard as anybody else. Um, but I think that being out on that national stage, a lot of the female players are starting to step up and make themselves heard and ask for that equality. I know that there are some um, national players who have decided not to partake in the World Cup this year um, due to those inequalities. So I think that that's an incredibly important message to get across to everybody, especially these young ones out here. As Maynard coaches her team of young girls before a competitive game, she reminds them to pass the ball, hustle, and give 100%, just like the women they look up to. Being able to see those women on that sort of platform is really important for them to know that they, there could be a future in it as well. The U.S.'s first game is next week, Tuesday, June 11. They'll be playing against Thailand. In Buffalo, Ala Araby, 7 Eyewitness News.